Welcome to Alien Invasion Gaming. My name is Roy, and in this video we take a look at recoil and assault rifle skills in Escape from Tarkov. Let's get started. Just a quick reminder that I do stream on Mixer on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 7.30pm to 11pm Central. If you have any questions about Escape from Tarkov or this video, feel free to stop on by. Also, make sure you check me out on Twitter at Reglar10 and hit me with a follow to get notified when I go live. We also have a Discord that we're using and you can find the link for that in the description. Alright, let's take a look at the two skills. Let's start with the recoil skill gain. As you can see in the graph, I tried to uh, skill gain with three different weapons. A RPK that I had at 50 recoil, a SKS, which is a default I think of 149, and then a TT, which is a default recoil of 630. You can see the white line is the TT, the orange line is the SKS, and the blue line is the RPK. And there was a direct correlation to the native, well not native, but the recoil of uh, level of the gun with uh, how quickly you reached pretty much the maximum, um, in this case 3.3. You could probably get to 3.4 if you fired off a lot more rounds, but 3.3 was where I stopped it. Just a note, by the way, 3.3 um, is where the tool tip uh, for the skill turned to 6% of um skill gain so that's sort of why i cut it off at 3.3 when the tooltip showed six percent uh gain that's where i cut it off so uh definitely the tt provided the fastest skill gain but they all sort of maxed out at 3.3 in order to get to um the six percent so um my recommendation is is that if you really want to work on uh, recoil and i'm going to caveat that in a second then grab yourself a TT, grab five mags, one in the gun or in your backpack or your rig or your pockets. Go into factory, uh, get to the exit of your choice. I definitely recommend the factory exit key to take one of those optional exits. Fire off the 50 rounds, get out, reset. Um, that total run, including uh, getting more ammo and putting getting back into the raid, should cycle about mm, 8 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, depending upon your uh, speed and your readiness with uh, um, uh, ammo and uh, mags ready. But at only getting 3.3 skill gain, you're looking at a minimum, minimum of 30 raids, assuming that somebody doesn't kill you on the way to the exit or you forget the ammo, or a scav kills you, or whatever. So one full level of skill gain is going to require you 30 plus raids. Um, and so you really gotta decide if that grind's gonna be worth it. At a eight minute average, 30 raids, that's 240 minutes. That's four hours of your life invested to get a single level of recoil control. That That is a grind that even I, as a grinder, am unwilling to invest in. So. You know, if you want to work on recoil, more power to you. I mean, bring a book, like do something, because it's going to be pretty boring. And you're looking at a significant time investment. But, you know, if this helps you, give it a try. Now for some good news. It's much easier to get assault rifle skill gain with um, an SKS and reloading rounds than it is for getting the recoil control. It only takes about 35 rounds reloaded into an SKS to get your max skill gain, or what I consider max, 3.3. So buy PS ammo or even something cheaper, um, take an SKS in with you, and in addition to your normal weapon, uh, I would spend two minutes at the beginning of every raid just reloading the gun um, to 35 bullets, get it in. If you want to do more, that's fine, but there's significant diminishing returns and a continual time investment if you decide to go past 35 rounds. Uh, I recommend cut it off at 35 rounds. But anyway, every raid you go in, you can get 3.3 skill gain, and since you're running raids normally, then this will really add up because you don't have to do anything special like recoil control. You can just factor it into your normal raids, get some incremental skill gain, and you know that regardless of what comes up in the raid, you've you've gotten that gain. You don't need to worry about you know, trying to get it during the raid during a normal situation. So, hope this helps, and uh, that's it for our assault rifle. Thanks for watching. Before you go, please uh, drop a like or a dislike on the video. It gives me feedback on my videos, helps me grow my channel. Also, if you have any questions on this video or other videos or Tarkov in general, feel free to drop them in the comments. And that is it for this week. See you next week.